Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Archeon in Immortal Empires and we're about to start our invasion of Kislev but there's two things I want to do first. I want to take this dark fortress so we can vassalize the Goromandi tribe and I have no idea if there's going to be Skaven in this or not because you can usually tell with uh, ruins if there's going to be Skaven by checking the corruption but there's almost no Skaven corruption. But I also can't imagine there not being Skaven in there, considering these three settlements were Skaven settlements. And I'm assuming there's Skaven down here as well, so I kind of have to assume that there's gonna be Skaven in this um, Karak Vlag. So we're gonna go on the assumption that there's gonna be Skaven. We I also wanna do another quest battle, because we did the Slayer of Kings last episode. And I want to keep doing more quests, so we're just going to wait until our replenishment is done, which is going to be real quick because we're doing a lot of replenishment. But once we're replenished and ready, I think we're going to go for, I think it's the Eye of Sherian, because if I remember correctly, the the armor of Morkar is, there's like 10 plus Chaos Knights or something in that one, because I remember these quests, and I think this is the one that's, I want to do it next because I think it's the easier one. So we're gonna start with that one and uh, go with the armor of Morkar after that. But we also have more gifts because we finished some research that allows us to get Nurgle gifts. And Nurgle has, we can get some plague bearers, we can get some growth after winning battles, which is gonna be quite often. We have, oh, the scrolling in this window is way too sensitive. But we got Deadly Transmissions, which lets us enable Replenishment in Foreign Territory, which I think is going to be really good. Uh, we get some more Gifted Units, and I don't really care about these like lower tier demons. Then I'd rather just have our marked Chaos Warriors or stuff like that. If we're going to go with demons, I want the big boys, not the not the Nurglings, I think. Uh, we can oh, no, that's that's all the ones we get. So I think I like the Replenishment. But I don't think we need it this turn. Because we are in friendly territory and I don't think this guy is replenishing any. Well, actually, he is a little bit hurt, so I guess we might as well. It doesn't hurt spending souls because it is working towards um, opening the eyes. So there's that. And we also have some technology to do. So I figured we can start just grabbing the um, allowing for... Uh, um, marking our units. And I don't know which I want. I think maybe we want... Maybe we want Slanesh, because this guy's a little bit Slanesh focused. Or at least the Lord is. So we might just go and mark a bunch of Marauders for Slanesh. Or we'll go Corn because Corn is sweet. I think we're going for Slanesh for now. But then we'll go with Corn after that. And I think that's going to be good. And Archeon is just going to keep leveling his uh, red tree. This guy is going to keep getting deadly onslaught. Excellent. And I don't think we want any of those. Because we're pretty good on buildings there. And I think we're just going for more corruption. Because we want to get this chaos cor Skaven corruption away. And we want to buff our chaos corruption as much as possible. So, there's some Skaven coming up, trying to defend their lands. Well, I assume they're trying to defend their lands. So, yeah, we, we have a bunch of of uh, allegiance here. Maybe we can just have you kill those. Although, this is probably mostly slaves anyway, so I'm not too worried. And actually, do we have any... Ooh, we have a Manticore. We got... Ooh, some horsemen. I... I love some horsemen. Ooh, and dragon ogres. Ooh. Okay. So, I think we're getting rid of a couple of warhounds in favor of horsemen. Because these are gonna start accruing experience, and then we get chaos knights and all that good stuff. So, I think we're just getting rid of these. That's fine. Getting all of those. Um, no aspiring champions, unfortunately. But... I do want the Dragon Ogres. And maybe we just get rid of the last Warhound. I think that's fine. Grab the Dragon Ogres. Otherwise I'll probably get rid of one troll or something. Because they're kind of just better trolls. Right? 
if we compare them. Yeah, they're basically better in every way, except for a little bit of melee attack. Although, the trolls do have regeneration, which is quite substantial. Although their maximum health isn't that great, so I guess it's about 8 health per second. Which is about, which is doubled from what it is in Warhammer 2, so it's really strong. Was there anything else I wanted? I might want the Feral Manticore. Especially if we're going into a siege. So what would we get rid of for a Manticore? Hmm. Uh, actually, I don't think we need it. Let's just go into Var Karak Vlag. And I guess we fight this so we don't take heinous amount of casualties. This should be pretty simple. Let's... Uh, I guess we'll just go in there. Where else could we go? Well, this isn't too guarded either. Although we have the towers shooting from the side. That's a little bit iffy. Could just go in here. There's basically just this tower shooting. Yeah, I think I like that. Let's uh, go everything here in the corner. There's a big open yard to fight in and to send around some pendulums. So I like this area. This is good. These guys are just gonna smack down the gates together with these guys. So we're just gonna group you. And some of these are probably gonna climb the walls. And you are just gonna ride around and do your stuff. So go over there. Go over there. You guys get in the gatehouse. And I think we're gonna... Let's send up the Marauders of Siege. Because they do have the barriers. They can they can manage getting up there and taking some damage on the way. That's fine. You can just line up over there. That's gonna be fine. And they're not even... They're not even shooting us with the tower. Well, so that's nice of them. Let's just speed this up until we get the gatehouse. Because, I mean, we could send everything through the gate, but it's just such a slog to get in ev anything in there. Oh, and the gate is almost already down. Oh, it's such a big difference from playing uh, Sieges in Warhammer 3 to Sieges in Warhammer 2 with SFO Grimhammer. Because the gates are so flimsy <laughs> in Warhammer 3, especially compared to uh, Grimhammer. So it just feels weird. But I'm not going to complain too much. I don't want to stand around and hit punch on that gate for too long. But I think we're going to get a good juicy pendulum. No, don't move. Oh, we got one of the swipes were really good there. We're just going to use the magic while we have it. Because we have a lot of power reserves. So it's going to be fine. Oh, well, hello. Well, Marauders should deal with these no problem. Oh, and there's a bunch of spawn nut inside. That's not okay. Let's grab you. You're gonna start squeezing your way inside as best as you can. What? What's your deal? What? Why are you? Why are you like this? Why do you feel the need to just to just be the worst? <laughs> ah, you bastard! Just get in there. Yeah. Nutter butter. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's a beautiful pendulum. Okay, poorly aimed, but that's okay. We'll have another one in. Well, okay, we might not have a mana for it in 33 seconds, but that's all right. Everything is dying just fine. And what? Why are they in such a line? I don't get it. Oh well. Oh, you're not even in there. Oh. Let's fast forward this a little bit. Watch these trolls fight on fast forward. Oh, that is a beautiful hit. Yes. But I think we're just saving up for 13 again. That's gonna be fine because we're in no real rush. These guys are working hard on getting up there. Just get in. And can we sneak you in? Just try to go into the corner, maybe? Okay, there seems to be some kind of invisible wall over here. Because it won't let me... No, actually, we can walk there. Good. So go and stand over there. We 
just got enough mana. So this time, I definitely won't miss. Oh, this is gonna be great. No? Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be great. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's that's a lot of dead rats. Beautiful. So, pile on. I think everything is around there. Yeah, I don't think they have anything else, so we just need to win this mosh pit and everything will be fine. So, try to chase those down. We'll grab you and you and you and you. Oh. Okay, try that again. And just hide in there. And if you could just go down there from the other side, that would be great. So, we basically just need to break these, I think. And that's gonna be army losses. No? Okay. Oh, these guys took a lot of damage. Okay, break those guys. I guess we're just... Uh... Oh, these guys are not broken. Hey, horsemen. Charge on them. This should be army losses. There we go. Beautiful. So, that was very easy, but it is always fun to just watch a bunch of rats explode in, <laughs> in uh, just little blood packets. So, I just always find it very fun to fight Skaven. It's so messy, but it's so wonderful. But that should be another vassal and another dark fortress. There we go. Beautiful. Hey, we got a uh, trade good. I think we're gonna get rid of that for now. Because I'd rather just have the growth and the money building. We'll grab you once we upgrade that. Or maybe we just don't need the growth. That is slightly more money. So I don't know if I did get the research, resource while I marked this for destruction. I should have still, still gotten it, but I just want to be sure. So yeah. I think we're going to... Top, uh, top ourselves off because it doesn't matter if we like do it now or at the start of, of the next turn so we're just gonna do the quest at the start of the next turn and we didn't well I didn't remember to build anything so there's that okay what well, new gifts what kind of new gifts no those are old is there new Nurgle gifts no. Okay, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Oh. Right. More corruption. And you guys leveled. So we should probably level you. I haven't forgotten. Don't worry. We should probably go down the red tree. Ooh. Experience. I should have gotten that a while ago. And because I want to get this. This is just really good. It affects so many units. Because we have so many non-demonic infantry. And uh, there we go. I apparently had two skill points. Let's get smoke and mirrors. It's nice to have. Just speed up the army every time we cast. And I like the experience and replenishment. Good. Clan Mulder wants a trade agreement. And I think all of this is Clan Molder, so I don't think we can just go in to help it and vassalize them instantly. And I don't want to have a big prolonged war with Clan Molder, so I think we're just going to be friendly with them. And worst case, if we really want to vassalize Clan Molder, we could just break the, uh, the um, agreement and kill them anyway, because who cares about reliability? We're chaos. We're supposed to be chaotic. But it's time for the Eye of Sharion, if this is the one I'm th I think it is. Like, it's uh, a bunch of uh, hell cannons and reinforcements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one should be all right. The biggest problem is the hell cannons, but as long as we like get on top of them as fast as possible, this isn't a big threat. And then we just kill the reinforcements as they, as they come. Some weak minion sent by the gods. No, what confronts me 
be something more corrupt, more bestial. It serves no master, seeks no glory other than its own, and that I abhor, even as I rip at its throats, for it must die. No man, no god, no creature can challenge me and live. He's very insecure about people challenging him. Because all of these quest battles is just... He questioned my authority. He must die. It's, it's like he's not very confident in his own authority. Oh, and we could have upgraded this guy. Oh, and we could have upgraded these guys. Oh, I missed upgrading stuff. Dang it. Oh, well. It's not gonna be that big of a deal, I don't think. And we still have hounds. Hmm. I thought we replaced these. Ah, uh, well, whatever. It's fine. We're gonna put them over there and um, we're gonna replace them. And we'll put these... Oh, I could have upgraded this guy too. Man. <laughs> I, I've been a bad upgrader. Shame on me. Well, these guys are gonna run up there as fast... Ooh, as fast as possible. I guess I can put, put them in the middle. And then these guys are just gonna be mixed around in the middle, like so. And so. There we go. Just start marching. These guys are gonna go around. These guys are just gonna ride up there. And I guess you need to move up there. I guess we try to shoot, um, I don't know, Chaos Warriors. Just get over there everything is moving very good oh and they're shooting my horsies all oh, right because we're definitely not in range with anything else that's that's very rude well I guess uh, try to dodge it or these guys are gonna get incredibly dead ow <laughs> okay get out of there well I guess that's an okay target rather those than all of our infantry but our infantry wasn't really in range, so... Eesh. Well, these guys are here. We can probably get them on top of these uh, cannons, no problem. And that'll shut them down, which is great. Because these guys are tanky as hell. Let's try to get around, try to get around. And just dive. Get in there. Get on top of those cannons. Make a blob. Beautiful. We're almost there. Hey, one of these can still shoot. I didn't agree to that. Okay, so they're mostly surviving. Let's get some of these magics going. There we go. There we go. And just charge in there come on there we go beautiful no don't keeps going the wrong way yeah bastard <laughs> oh it's going back in beautiful there we go yes ah uh, disappointing overall disappointing oh get another one of those they are doing okay so far But just charge in there, charge in there. Let's get a burning head while we're at it. There we go. And it's bearing off course. No, but it still hit just fine. Those are breaking beautifully. Let's get ourselves a another one over there. Yes. Let's win this blob fight. <laughs> this is uh, very organized and beautiful. And yeah, everything is engaged. Hey, giant on giant fight. Can we get it? Get him, boy. You can do it. Kick his ass. Nice. Very good. Oh, I think they got distracted. 
But let's get both of you and try to kill that giant. Let's get some draining on it. There we go. And there's the reinforcements. But we're pretty healthy, actually. Oh, these guys never engaged, but we can kill these trolls, that's fine. But yeah, everything is pretty much dead in this <laughs> beautiful, beautiful blob. Uh, it's got messy, and I don't mind it. So, um, yeah, there's they are quite a bit away. So we should be able to just crush this real quick. We can probably grab some of these. Uh, line up over there. That's fine. You can keep chasing you two. Go line up over there. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, everything is broken anyway, so that was fine. So we have a bunch of dragon ogres. Well, that's, that's not too bad. We can go and shoot and turn on skirmish mode on that, and they should be able to just skirmish these down just fine. Send you in there. There's a bunch of halberds with those. And send halberds in there. That's gonna be just fine. Line up like so. Whoa! Hey! Hello! You came back. I never agreed to that. Who told you you could come back? But yeah, this is... this. Is, oh, ouch! I was gonna say this is gonna be just fine. Which, I mean, it is. But, man, these guys are slow. But we're just gonna speed through this because, well, we're... We're pretty much done here. Now we just need to kill that. Okay, I guess, and that. And now we go after that. Very good. Although, you should probably not charge into Dragon Ogres. Same as the Hound. You should probably not charge into Dragon Ogres. You could do it. I believe in you. Because Archeon can do whatever he wants. Because he's Archeon. And there we go. That should be it. That was... That should be done. Right? There we go. So, that was pretty easy, and we got a bunch of experience, a lot of money, and we can get, get a ton of replenishment. Although, that's a lot of souls. I think I might want a lot of souls, because our replenishment right now is pretty nuts, so I think we're just going souls. Souls are good. Ooh, and we get Knights of the Brazen Throne. Oh, I love Skull Crushers. Skull Crushers are the bomb. Okay, so you don't have any hounds left, but I was supposed to get rid of these hounds. I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I want. And now we have Barrier on Archeon, which is awesome. Now he's just... He is much tankier and uh, much better at just going in and out. Why is it only... This? Oh, because we're injured. I guess. Because it said 800, didn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that should fix itself, I hope. We don't have any gifts, but we can see if we have any warband stuff to recruit. And nothing I'm really interested in. I think we're just gonna grab a Regiment of Renown. And I guess maybe the Chaos Knights is very fitting for Archeon. I do kind of really want the Knights of the Brazen Throne as well. Which one is better? It seems like it's the Chaos Knights. Damn, they're good. They are so good. It's insane. We're gonna have so many Chaos Knights in this army. It's gonna be great. And I guess just keep walking. Because now it's time for Kislev. Our a we're aiming for Prague. Oh, we have a lot of corn authority. We should probably get some... Were we researching corn? No, we're researching Slanesh. Next is corn, I think. Because I, I think I want to make some of these corn marauders. And I think we're making this a dual, dual weapon guy. Sweet. No, okay, it's rank 7. Never mind. Because I don't need to make these into Chaos Knights. Because these guys are probably going to become Chaos Knights. Actually, can I just skip this? 
and just make you a Nurgle horseman and then you'll keep your your chevrons to just become a chaos knight although th they won't be able to keep up with our other chaos knights so unless they are so fast because of this no it's just 15% speed I think they might be too slow and we might make some of these into into uh, like chosen of Nurgle instead because I do want some Nurgle stuff but I don't think I want the Nurgle Knights because they're so slow I mean the Chaos Knights well they are pretty fast now but I don't want slow Knights I think yeah how about we just make we can make the great weapons into Chaos or Nurgle great weapons yeah, I like that. Get some Nurgle stuff. Sweet. Good, and I guess you can go and kill these guys. That's a mostly Skaven, uh, Skaven slaves, I think. It looked like it. I didn't have a close look, but... Well, stop that. No one likes it when you do that. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, bastard. Oh, well, fine. It's fine. We do have a bunch of skill points though. So yeah, we're gonna grab that. And probably the... Yeah, non-demonic cavalry and chariot units. Although that's not... Like, great buffs. The middle defense is gonna make the Chaos Knights like insanely tanky though. So... Yeah, I think we're going into the hammer. Hammer into anvil. Good. Because we're going to be all about these guys. They're going to be so tanky and they're great. Excellent. We got the exalted hero of corn. Wait, we didn't put training on you? Well, that's a, that's a goof. It should have been training on all the time on you. Oh, and that is... Oh, it's the lord. Did we finish? No. I think that might be too expensive. Yeah, then we don't have any any souls left, so we're gonna hold off on that for now. Hey, we intercepted. We can just auto-resolve this though. It's just slaves. There are some global airs, but it's just slaves. That is. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess I guess the Lord did it. Or I guess the Global Dares did it, but we would just have been all all on top of those, but that's fine. Grab the replenishment. Okay, these guys are dealing with the Skaven. So, I guess we just start moving up towards Kislev. And I don't want to declare on them right now, because, uh, well, then these guys might actually be able to go and take Prague. I don't expect them to be able to. But, I don't want them to take it because I don't know what happens if one of your vassals takes a, a Dark Fortress site. Whether they give it to you or if they just hold it and then you have to declare war on them or something. Or can you demand... Oh, can you demand settlements from them? Now I gotta see. Um, let's see. Let's take Goromandi tribe for example. Enter then! Let's trade drink, settlement. Let's say both. I want Temple of Heimkill. No, I can't take that. Um, why not? Fine. Grab that. We can't demand it. Okay. Now we know. <laughs> oh, and we finished our Slanesh focus. I think I want to go directly into the corn focus. We are gonna want to grab this so we can get some gifts and stuff, but I just want to be able to brand our our units with uh, with marks. And I think we're gonna make all of this slanesh stuff. So, slanesh. And I think... Let's see. 
I think I need the very little armor piercing that they already do. We can't grab hell scourges, I don't... Oh, I thought they made all hell scourges zero armor piercing. Is that... Is that just for the chosen? Okay, well, I guess we make these um, hell scourges then. Because they don't do, like, incredible damage. Oh, wait, this is still marauders. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we can make one of these, just to check. Yeah, no, no armor piercing. So, I think I'd rather have just normal marauders. They're great at holding the line, but I also want them to be able to kill stuff. So, there's that. Although, maybe some health scourges just... Just for the flavor of it. They should be able to rank up fairly soon anyway. And I guess we can make these into... Into Slanesh Cav as well. Because the... Uh, the health striders are pretty good. There we go. Sweet. Actually, how how much do we need to make you into armor troll? Oh, we can do it now. We only need rank three. Sweet. Well, grab it. They're just better, I think. Like now, I didn't check exactly, but I'm pretty sure their stats are identical, but with more armor. Maybe slower, but who cares? Well, let's start moving. And I guess we can just march, stance it. Just to get there. Why'd you stop? There we go. Oh, and still past the glory. Now, we're, we're losing 75 per turn, so I don't want to run out. So that's fine. Good. And I did see... Where's the... I saw Katarina somewhere. I guess she left. Okay. I was hoping she would have moved even further over here. Oh, and you're not in a good position. <laughs> I mean, or you're in a great position. Because we are going to attack Prague. And all of, the, all of my vassals are going to declare war on him at the same time when it happens. But maybe we'll send this guy after him. Excellent. Yeah, he can definitely take him. So I think he'll go over there. Archeon go will go over to Prague. And yeah. No, wait, this is the sorcerer. Hmm. We might want to grab like Lord of Zinch. Although I do like Lord of Slanesh quite a bit. Because um, it wouldn't be bad to get some Zinch authority. You can't change these, right? No. I wanna rescind those uh, marks. We could just grab some new ones. Because we do have... It's fine, actually. Never mind. It's, it's not a big deal. So, let's grab some more of that. We'll grab that. Okay, so he's he keeps moving away. But can you No, you can definitely not reach it. That's all right. Let's just stand over there. Yes. You'll go and stand over there as well. Oh, actually, let's march stance you so you can stand next to him. And how is your Yeah, your garrison is kind of weak. Oh, we get bear zoneling over here, but are they even still around? I don't... These settlements don't seem to like... Oh, wait. These belong to Bear Sondling. So, if we were to destroy, like, Volkrad, we can awaken Bear Sondling. Okay. There might be some over here, hopefully. Because I would like to awaken them, but... Worst case, it's not a big deal. Oh, and... We have buildings somewhere. This can be upgraded. Let's just take a lap here. Uh, we don't care about that. We can upgrade that. And we can upgrade these. Which we will do. And uh, that's fine. And Grimgore, what do you want? Non-aggression pact. I'm fine with that. 
Okay, so it is time for the siege of Kislev or Prague, but I'm um, I'm expecting this to be an auto result because well you saw the garrison. Yeah, we're just gonna auto resolve this, but we are gonna bring in the other guy just to share in the experience a little bit. But I guess he'll go down towards Kislev, or maybe Archeon goes down to towards Kislev while we deal with minor settlements with this guy. I think that's better. Because he's not as strong. And he's gotta realize that. There we go. And... Oh, we can... No, right. <laughs> it's bears only. I thought we could vassalize the... the Kislevites, but no, no, no. That's, that's not what I was saying. Oh. Oh, there's Erengrad. I thought that was Erengrad for a sec, but no, 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 no. That's not what it is. Good. So, let's start moving southwest with you. You're gonna start moving south. Oh! It did awaken a... A stack, but it doesn't have any settlements, so it is gonna... It is gonna attrition away, but we do still get a vassal, so that should give us uh, some more souls. No, that's not how you check it, and we won't see it there anyway. But yeah, that's definitely. Oh, and we finished that. Great. So, do we want corn gifts or slanesh gifts? Let's go for corn gifts. And I think Archeon is gonna... Ooh, we can get Chosen now. So, Chosen great weapons are just the bane of all armor. So, I think we're gonna go for definitely at least one Chosen great weapons. Because I don't... I'm pretty sure that there isn't an armored infantry unit that can beat uh, chosen great weapons. So we're just gonna get some of that. And you can't yet. And uh, no, no, no one else can either. Okay, so that's it. Alright, we can mark you because I. I think if we mark you, then we can just make you into a Chaos Knight right away. No, we need to be rank 8. Okay, so you can't skip it. Like, you can't cheat the system. Because I figured you need rank 4 over here, which makes it so you lose a bunch of ranks. But then you still re need rank 6. So, I mean, you still save a little bit of ranks by making it a marked, a marked cavalry that doesn't have any middle grounds. But... Still, it's not it's not necessarily better to just skip it. But it's a little bit of a cheat. So there's that. So is there anyone else we wanna... I think we might wanna make some um, marked like dual weapon guys. Because we are gonna fight a lot of infantry. And they are just really good. Like especially the Chosen. They are... That is an insane weapon strength for dual wielding infantry that I assume hits faster because I know there's a hidden like attack speed stat and I assume that uh, dual weapons fight faster. But yeah, I think I'll make these into dual wielders as well. Were those new? I must have upgraded... Oh, right. These were the already marked corn guys that was already upgraded. Right. That's why it doesn't have any chevrons. Right. So, we're getting a very elite stack over here now. It's awesome. We're getting there. But I think we're going to end the episode here because it's getting time to for it. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.